Yeah, well, I've heard great a, things about the uh, the tech graduates from the University of Waterloo. They're phenomenal. My people in 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 uh, the people I know in Silicon Valley. Yeah, yeah. They're our biggest export right yeah. now. Yeah, well, they so, feel that they're the equivalent, at least, of the uh, graduates of the Indian Institute of Technology. And I mean, the Indians have had a massive influence in Silicon Valley, and so yeah. can Canadians. Well, that's that's only one place where. Canadians are not making nearly the use of their resources that they could. That's on the on well, the human resource front with regard to engineers. Well, you right. think you graduate from Waterloo and you you can pay, pay 53% tax in Canada or 18 or 19 in Texas. You can pay uh, $1.5 million for an average house in Canada or you can buy a, a castle for 400000 in the States. You can make Canadian dollars, which is $0.69, cent uh, equivalent of the U.S. dollar, or you can make an American dollar. It's unfortunately uh, there's a, the pull is very hard. But we're why don't we get us pulling in the other direction? Why don't we make this the most attractive place for these brilliant minds to come out of these schools and and build it here and keep it here? And I think we can do that. Okay, so what are you going to do when you take uh, office? Like how? how